crispy. All right, let's get into it. So here we got Roar, a.k.a. Snarl. Uh, just an awesome-looking figure. I mean, head to toe, this thing is just super, super clean. Man, these third-party companies continue to do such an excellent job with these Transformer figures. I mean, look at that. That is something that's just too special. I'm so glad I got this. <laughs> uh, I really am. I mean, this guy is just phenomenal. Uh, you can see it in his Stegosaurus mode, which of course Stegosaurus is an awesome, you know, all-around dinosaur. Oh man, that is cool. This gold finish. Um, this it's not die cast. It's just plastic with a kind of a chrome gold paint. So um, I'd be careful with that. I don't know over time, you know, if it's going to wear out, you know, chipping or whatnot. But uh, so far, it's held up. Um, I don't really mess with the the spikes too much and each one of them is on a little ball joint so they can move around so that's that right there that is cool to be able to do that of course you can put his weapon uh, in the you know his sword in his tail I mean that's just all around cool it's got a little light piping right there for his eyes nice now this this paint right here it you will get a lot of fingerprints on there so just careful about that mouth opens up really really nice got good head articulation can go up about that far can't look down at all but that's all right arms go in and out up and down bend at the elbow or whatever they would call that joint this one does not go out too far but does get all the the movement as well this one has a bend too. You can hear that ratchet joint. Very nice. Toe articulation. Tail wiggles and goes up and down. So all everything you would want in articulation wise for this guy, he is there. So now we're gonna get him into robot mode. And here we go. So overall this guy is just Beautiful. I mean, what an awesome looking figure from head to toe. I mean, this guy is just clean. Oh, man, the proportions are just right. The color scheme is cool. Um, there's a few issues I do have with it, but uh, it kind of outweighs, you know, if anything. I mean, the, the, the good of this thing is just superior to all. Um, just the way he looks. Uh, you see he's got light piping in his eyes. I mean, that is nice right there. Well done. Uh, like I said, the gold paint is reflective. Um, there's even a spot where if you pull this down, he's even got the Autobot, uh, you know, impression so you can put the sticker there. I mean, that is cool. Attention to detail. Oh, just so nice. See his legs. I think I like the legs the best, just the way they look uh, with the, the spikes right there. See that? And even the back. I mean, it's all you know everything is hidden in there so you really can't see too much very very nice all around just super cool he does come with uh, a blaster gun it's eh, not much going on and I wonder if that's gonna have something to do with the combiner part I'm not a hundred percent sure just kinda funky the way it is and he does come with his sword which I broke I'm having the most terrible time with weapons so I'm gonna have to kind of super glue this back in there ah that this was completely my fault I was trying to get his hand out and I was using this part which I was stupid to do that and it just snapped um, this thing is a real it's a soft plastic so you gotta be careful with that because this thing will break and it's right there at the the base so uh, completely my fault but other than that this figure is good now the the one issue I do have with this figure is when you move his arms or try to 
see this whole piece comes down and it just collapses in so I wish there was a, like a peg where you can plug it in and stop it but you know you just gotta hold it down and do that but so you know every once in a while you can just yeah but that's all right and what the thing with toy world is you don't get that kind of uh, feet element which you like the legs to go so you get that base spot so he's more standing with a wide stance and then right there there's no in between so these things are on a little ratchet as you can see very tight but most of the time with this guy I'm just gonna have him stationed anyway so it doesn't really matter now he does have good articulation got shoulder joint can go out about that far but you gotta be careful just to put that part back in he does swivel right there does have elbow joint which you get pretty good movement in there so he goes about that far does have waist swivel does have legs go out really far does have a swivel right there at the knee now this joint is really tough so I'd be careful with that right at the knee and that's part of his transformation too and his feet good movement in there so you got up and down with the feet and does have a pivot which pops out but I mean that is really nice how oh, I did it's got up and down head movement side to side and head swivel now his gun it does not sit in his hand properly um, you gotta kind of open this piece up and then fit it in there and it will work but then it kind of just ruins the element a little bit see that part right there kind of hinders it a little bit from going all the way in but kind of half it and yeah, it doesn't look right but other than that I mean this guy is excellent I can't wait to get the rest and uh, finish this now this is a combiner set now I don't know when the rest of the combiners will be out so probably won't finish it until uh, December next year or maybe sooner we'll see Basically, it's that time of year again. Uh, the winter's approaching, and I've got to start storing stuff in these, uh, you know, cabinets I have here in my back area. Just because this back area gets so cold, uh, I'm not back here enough, and you know, not a lot of body heat back here, and you know, the heaters are off, so the figures become really brittle. Um, I know this from experience, you know, I've lived here for quite a while in this area, like I said, it's freezing. And then, you know, when I go to like move around some of these figures, a few of them have broken and that's due to the, the cold back here. So I've got to move everybody around, start storing them um, for the winter, basically. See, I got more Transformers up there. I've already seen that review on Roar. Some Mini Mates gotta protect them how you can because uh, it's like I said it's freezing back here so and this was the previous area I had all my Masters of the Universe figures you see I got some stuff out like these McFarland footballs I mean they're not gonna go anywhere they're statues um, these gears figures I definitely gotta put up this NECA you know them um, these ones should be okay I mean there's no door on them but um, they're a little bit in, you know, somewhat concealed by the, the cases, but maybe I can put some, I think I might put some plastic up over the, the front of this. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. Uh, just a lot of reorganizing coming up here soon. And then I'm eventually, uh, this week, I'm going to look for some lights uh, for my cabinets. Just because that one dome light, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to try to redo this thing up so it's going to be a few month progress um maybe i'll do an update video on it uh maybe next year or so we'll see how it goes 
DC Universe area. And all these figures are so exposed. I might have to move these guys up. Um, I don't know. These guys are pretty good. They're in this case. So I'm not too sure. It's a work in progress. I am probably am going to have to move them all up. And then during the summertime, break them out again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll update that as the progress goes. So here we got NECA Bad Blood Predator. It's a guy I've been anticipating since uh, i seen it at Toy Fair. Was that about a year ago? Or earlier this year, I can't remember. But uh, definitely, definitely this guy was on my radar for the longest time. What an awesome looking figure. The whole concept of the character, you know. If you've read the comics, you know, you know about this guy. He was not also just a... A badass hunter but he also hunted his own kind uh, and that's why you have enforcer he was sent out to try to you know apprehend him but just an awesome awesome figure it comes with all these different you know <laughs> trophy heads uh, weapons extra hands definitely definitely digging the look of this guy but we got to open him up so here we got bad blood predator out of packaging um, Great looking figure all around, very impressive, has a few quality control issues we'll get to in a little bit, but accessories, comes with a nice spear, it's not like the traditional one where it's got, you know, the longer lance, lance to it, it's got a nice uh, machete, see it's nicely painted, it's got blood on there, it's pretty dope, um, I think this is like a little hair piece, not a hundred percent sure what that's for. I'll find out eventually. Then he's got a couple of skull uh, trophies. Looks pretty nice. And then he comes with these two uh, severed heads, and they've got hooks on them so you can hook them on. And then you can see the the blood slice the back of the heads. Very very impressive overall. That could does good with the sculpting. Uh, Bad Blood, he's just got all kinds of detail. I mean, you can just sit around and just look at it. You can see the nice uh, bone, uh, shoulder pad. He's got a predator skull. He's even kept the dreads on there. He's got some more spine on his uh, wrist. Now, this is a quality control issue, which kind of makes me mad. Uh, you can see he's got three blades, but mine was missing. It wasn't even in the, the packaging, but you know I can I can live with that, <laughs> even though I don't want to. But it's okay, you know I can go with just two, especially if you're showing it from this angle. Don't really miss much, but the painting on there, man, it is something cool. You see all the blood effects, even his hand. It's got a spot where the display would go. More skulls on. I mean, look at his knee pads are skulls. That's absolutely awesome. Um, you do lose a lot of paint right in that area, uh, which you don't really notice, if, say, if you're standing them up right like that, but you can start to see. That's something NECA, you know, usually does. But all around, the detail is just excellent on this guy. See the brown armor, even the med pack on his backpack shows up. I mean, that's something really, really cool. Uh, his articulation is super limited on the arms just because he's got all this stuff on. Shoulders go out about that far. It's not too bad. No up and down on the head movement. Side to side is limited because of the hair. Not a lot of spacing in between uh, the shoulders. That is alright. does have single jointed elbow, which of course goes about that far. Wrist rotation, uh, waist, legs. Go out pretty far. So NECA is always impressive with the leg movement. It's got double jointed knees, of course. Oh, didn't show the upper thigh swivel. And then he's got leg rotation. Up and down, limited. But it's got a pivot. Uh, now this guy, the legs were rather stiff. But, you know, what can you do about that? Uh, overall, he is a very, very impressive figure. Uh, and with these NECA ones, the Predators... Basically, you know, they're just kind of statue types anyway, so, you know, it's all about the detail with the NECA. You're not getting too much articulation with them, but uh, definitely a good, 
I would say great figure in my opinion, just because of the detail alone and just the character choice they decided to go with. Uh, absolutely awesome. Definitely a must get.